Hello beautiful souls and welcome to my autumn altar video. Today we are going to be transforming my altar from this to this. So let the magic begin. <music> So first things first, this is my altar. You may remember it from my spring altar video. I have some new items on here. As you can see, it's really cluttered at the moment. It needs a really good deep clean before I actually change the design. I'm not totally sure what I'm going to go for, but I have had a couple of ideas, so we'll see where that leads me today. But for the time being, I need to take all of this down, dust everything, wipe everything, and then decide what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to let my creativity just flow through me and we'll see what we end up with today. So I've started with a nice clean surface and I thought I'd bring in this cute triangular crystal holder if you like from our witch casket box a few months ago and then I thought it'd be nice to put all of my potion bottles out that we've got from the witch casket because some of them I've used and some of them I haven't so I thought this might encourage me to you know use them and certainly I thought it would bring quite a nice witchy aesthetic for my autumn slash winter altar because I tend to keep my altars for mostly autumn slash winter and spring slash summer. Then I thought I'd include this adorable wand we got in the witch casket a few months ago. I thought I'd bring out some of the things that I haven't really had a chance to use or put out and work with so that it would encourage me to use them. I thought I'd add some candles at either side. I ended up going for a kind of sagey green candle which represents abundance and this grey candle as well which is almost black so we can kind of argue it's a bit of protection as well but I'll probably end up using them in a couple of spells and things that I'd like to do. And then I thought I would bring out my art print from the witch casket which is a print of a witch's shelves so I thought that would be perfectly timed and I noticed that I was starting to get quite a black and green theme going on here so I brought out my gorgeous book of magic book which you definitely need to check that out by the way if you haven't got that it's such a beautiful book and you can just see the witchy vibes coming together already so I was quite excited at this point then I brought out my larger cauldron I just thought that might bring another shape and another height into this space and I do quite like to have like a central focal point shall we say for my altars when I do them then we have my green bottle, you guys will remember that from the witch casket last year. It does actually have herbs and things in it as well, some dried flowers, uh, which I have used a few times, so it's quite good that one's full. And then I thought I'd put my chalice there, which I use for burning incense, you guys will have seen me burn the resin incense actually that I got from Glastonbury, probably in my spring altar video actually. I haven't burnt any incense recently though, because I'm quite sensitive to smell with my migraines at the moment, so I'm holding back a little bit on that. Then I added two of my spell potion bottles that we got from the witch casket that I made up. I think one was for romance and one is for self-love, so I thought that would be quite nice to bring that in and include that because my self-care has kind of been lacking recently. Then I thought I'd add some crystals because what is an altar without crystals in my house? I don't know. So I've got a beautiful smoky quartz tower that I put out. And I thought I'd also add this moon phases calendar that I think we got this at the beginning of the year in Witch Casket actually, which is really helpful for me when I'm working with the new and the full moon. So that's the, the moon cycles I tend to work with the most, but obviously you can work with the waning and the waxing moons if that's something you like. Then I thought I'd put down this key, which is actually from my grandmother's wardrobe. And I felt like that was just bringing more of an ancestral vibe in. I did actually create this altar about a week before Halloween. So I thought I'd bring in a bit of ancestral magic there. And I wanted to add this magenta fluorite sphere. Just really liked the depth of color. I just thought that really balanced out nicely with the pink from the spell bottles. Because yes, yes, I am that much of a perfectionist. Then we've got my beautiful smoky citrine freeform which you guys know I love with its beautiful rainbows honestly you can't see here but she was really flashing away which was really nice and then I thought I'd put down a few pieces of malachite because I noticed that I was really getting this black and green vibe going on so I thought well let's just continue with that vibe let's just let it come out and see where it goes and 
Actually, I really feel like this particular piece of malachite just works so well in this little display triangle shelf because it just brings this pop of colour to this really dark background. So I quite like that piece in there actually. Then I added my Camerarite Moon, which is so cute, again bringing a bit of that purple in, and a really tiny pyramid of Tiger's Eye, which you can barely see, but I got that in my huge mystery crystal box, and this Aura Crescent Moon as well, I thought that'd be quite nice, because I haven't used that yet, so I thought, let's bring her out, let's see, let's see what magic we can work with from her as well. And then I thought I'd use my beautiful Flower Fairy tower from Mickey, Mickey made it, and I also thought I'd put in a small piece of smoky quartz and I also have an aura coated rose quartz tumble as well, and this pink lithium tower. Just adjusting everything because every millimetre matters when it comes to your altar, <laughs> every inch matters. Then my beautiful teacup and saucer, which you guys will remember I got from Killstar, I think it was last year when I did an unboxing, you'll probably have seen that, but it's such a beautiful cup and I thought, again, it's just going to balance out the... It's going to balance out the triangle as well, which would be really good. And I thought, let's put another sphere out because why not? So I've got my beautiful large green fluorite sphere, which looks so cute on this little fairy stand from Mooney Knots really like that. I feel like it's starting to balance out quite nicely there with the colours and, you know, rather than your eye just being drawn to one point, it balances the space quite nicely. Then my cute little new bell from Witch Casket, which I just thought was perfect for this altar actually. It just fits in so well. And then I thought I'd add the wooden altar stand for my cauldron just so it doesn't scratch this cupboard because this cupboard is probably my favourite cupboard ever, so I like to take good care of it. So it's starting to come together a bit here and you know I think the colours were balancing quite nicely, the, the shapes and the you know we've got like quite feminine and masculine shapes here with the triangles and the spheres and the moons in the free forms, there's quite a lot of shapes going on. Okay, so this is the finished product so far. What do you guys think? I've got some nice crystals on here. I've got the moon phases, a few potion bottles, and then obviously a nice book, a cauldron, and a cute little teacup. Three days later. Okay, so as you can see, I have slightly changed it from last time. It's a few days later, and I think I've had quite a fun idea to use that cauldron for. So I thought I would change it for this central glass piece with my aura coated clear quartz towel, which you guys know I love. Also, to be honest with you, I really don't have any space to put that terranium anywhere, so it kind of has to be out. <laughs> and then I put this lovely mirror that I have, and my little pumpkin, and my mini cauldron and just a few pine cones and a dried flower just to bring it a little bit more colour but I think I'm really happy with this what do you guys think? I'll show you some close-ups So let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in next week's video.